Hello, I'm Neil Griffiths, a former head teacher, but now a passionate storyteller. And why am I a storyteller? Why did I write 36 children's books? Because I was lucky enough to have a dad who knew that one of the most important things he could do was read aloud to me and tell me silly stories. He filled my mind with imagination and all sorts of language. And it's the reason I'm here with you today, because I've got the gift of talking. But can you do it? Yes, you can. Everybody has a storyteller in them. And if you listen to this short clip about a little baby Roo who found there was no room in his mum's pouch, I guarantee you will want to tell your child a story tonight. I'm in the mood for a story. Are you in the mood? Yeah. yeah. Now, what story shall it be about? Shall it be about a rat? <laughs> No, not a rat. Shall it be about a squirrel? Yeah. No. Oh, no, not... Yeah. Well... Baby kangaroo. You want the... the woo. OK, you okay. want the baby kangaroo one again, because it's our favourite, isn't it? We love it. Where is it? I've got it at home. Yeah. There is the baby kangaroo. No room for a baby roo. Has anybody ever seen a kangaroo? Have you? Where did you see it? In a shire. Did you? I was actually born in a shire. He was born... We've got an Australian expert. Brilliant. Oh, you're going to know loads of answers. Thank goodness we've got you. You lived in Australia. Because your kangaroos do live in Australia. Because they like hot places. Do they? Oh, I'm glad you know these that's things. In, that's in Australia. Is it? Can you see baby all snuggly? Mm -hmm. Shall we get all snuggly? You snuggle to there. Yeah, you snuggle there. You snuggle with him. Hang on a minute. Yay! Let's put you inside the pouch. Round it goes. <laughs> Hold on to that. Then it's coming round. Get in all snuggly. You in. Let's tuck you in properly. <laughs> That's it. You all warm. <laughs> Lovely. OK, so we are snuggly inside. It looks like you're in a pouch. Yes, we are. Yeah, because, of course, <laughs> where does the baby live? In his pouch. In the mummy's pouch. <laughs> oh, come on, let's find out what this story's all about then. <laughs> oh. My mum's pouch is the comfiest, cosiest, snuggliest pouch in the whole wide world, thought Baby Roo. Oh, and look, it is snug and warm. But he was looking outside and he thought to himself, I want to tell some of my friends how snuggly it is. And you can help us. What creature did he... A koala. Co it was. And the koala lives high. Can we look up high? Even higher. He lives high in the eucalyptus tree. What well, little Roo had to shout. He said, koala, my mum's pouch is the comfiest. Are we comfy? The cosiest. Are we cosy? The snuggliest pouch in the whole wide world. And do you know what he said to Koala? Why don't you go and try it? <laughs> so, did Koala, can you see? He's going off. So, oh, but, but then little Roo thought, hold your nose like this. He thought, I'm going to tell Pink Nosed Possum. And Pink Nosed Possum lived by the wood park. And he said, Pink Nosed Possum. My mum's pouch is the comfiest, cosiest, snuggliest. Ooh, in the whole world. So off he went to find out whether it was. Goodness, they'd both gone. Who else did he tell? Do you know who that Jennifer. is? You are unbelievable. We've got an Australian complete animal expert. He said he knows that's a platypus. Can I tell you something Platypuses about platypus? Platypuses are my favourite. Are they? I bet you don't know this. They lay eggs. I knew that. I oh, knew that. Me too. There's nothing you know that I... Oh, 
you know it, you're so glad. Well, Platypus was in the in the river where it's ever such. Oh, can we shiver? Because it's a bit shivery. <laughs> and he said, rain. You should try my mum's pouch because it's so snuggly, curgly, oh, and warm. He said, Go, go try it. But then he thought, Hang on a minute. I haven't told Cookaburra. Look up in the tree. Where is she? Th she's on that branch. Uh, and she said, Cookaburra. Come down from that tree. It's shivery up there. Try my mum's pouch. It's so cosy, snuggly, ooh, and warm. Oh, he's told everybody, but... No, he hasn't. He hasn't told... What's that one called? Do you know that one there? No. It's quite hard, isn't it? Um, it's you... called... I forgot. You forgot. It's a wombat. Wombat! Yes, and the wombats, look, he lives down by the cold rock because it's freezing down there. He said, don't stay down here. My mum's pouch is what? It's... And, and, and soft. And soft. And what? Oh, it's gorgeous. Let's try it. What? Off he went as well. Well, soon, the, it was night time. The moon began to shine. Well, at night time in Australia, where the Roo lives, it's it's really cold. Can we shh? Can we do this without the? Can we blow? Can, oh, do this. Warm your hands up. Oh, oh. Well, he started to shiver and he thought, "This is no good. I am going to have to go." And oh no. This is disastrous. There's no Roo. Isn't there? No Roo. Why is there no Roo? Because he told all of his friends. Too many. He's got too many in his pouch. Mm. How many is in there? One, two, three, four, five. 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 But what about Roo? He's going to freeze. Let me shiver <laughs> once more. Do you? What do you... Well, thank goodness, just at that moment, somebody started snoring. Who was it? It was. So, it was one of them. You had to get out. Get out the snorer. So the snorer had to get out. But then, koala was too hot. He said, I'm not staying in. It's too hot. Then, oh, pink-nosed possum kept wriggling and jiggling, so they threw him out. Then, that Bill Platypus stuck his great big beak into someone's bottom. He said, we're not having you in here. Get out. And then Cookaburra, Cookaburra started singing. Well, you don't want singing Cookaburras in the middle of the night. And, and all that was left was Wombat. And Wombat said, I don't want to stay in here on my own. Well, you wouldn't because you'd be all lonely. So Wombat said, I'm going. But well, within a minute... Roo was back in, snug, do your snug, do your cuddly, do your warm. He was back in his mum's pouch, and do you know what? He said, I'm never going to tell my friends ever again. And he never did. And let's get back inside our snuggly, come in snugglier, come in cuddlier, get back in your pouch, curl up. And they all are in. And little Roo went fast asleep. Well, the story about this little baby Roo was wonderful for general knowledge. There was such a lot of opportunity for me to ask questions about the things they knew about Australia and the animals. And take every chance you can when reading a story to ask the children things that they know or perhaps don't know. It's a nice chance to extend their knowledge. But it was also a lovely intimate story. And I love snuggly stories. They're perfect for bedtime when you can all snuggle up. So make the most of stories that are intimate, quiet, comfy and cosy. And always choose a time to do that type of story when you know that you can be quiet. You'll have noticed that through this particular story, I was constantly asking questions. And some stories lend themselves to just that. So if you see a chance to say, but what is a koala bear? Where do they live? I've never heard of a kookaburra, have you? Lots of chances to ask questions. 
Again, you'll have noticed I didn't read every word of the story. That's okay. Children quite like it when you ad lib, throw little bits in, and sometimes it makes the running of the story that much smoother. So don't feel you have to read every single word. And of course, wherever I could, I involved the children. Participation is so important. So we couldn't possibly do a snuggly story without getting all snuggly ourselves. So have a hoppy time with no room for baby Roo. 